Now, welcome to yet another episode of the Apple's Questions, a series where I answer one Apple-related question each week. And the one for today is, how do you have two windows of Safari open on iPad? There are multiple ways how to get it to work and how to use it, so let's get into it. The short answer, like we do it in all videos of the series, would be to drag one tab in a Safari to the side like this, and you're good, you end up having two windows of Safari, but you're leaving out other very important details. So yeah, if you have multiple tabs open, you can grab one and slide it to the right or to the left side until the link forms into a Safari window. Then you let go and you have a regular multitasking setup. It's possible to resize it and by grabbing the three dots at the top, you can even switch the locations of the windows like this. So yes, you can move it from one side to the other. And in order to close one window, you can either slide the slider to one side, depending on which window you want to keep, or go to the multitasking panel where you can see all the running apps. And the split screen Safari consists of two parts. So just slide up the window that you want to get rid of and only keep the one, the other one as a full screen window. But if you for some reason need more than just two windows of Safari running at the same time, you can do the following. In Safari, in the full screen mode, you open a new tab and you can grab it, but just don't bring it completely to the side where it would create a split screen window. Instead, make it a floating one by hovering over the existing Safari window. Now you can have one full screen and one floating on the side. So open another tab in the full screen and drag it to create the split screen multitasking. And this way you end up having three instances of Safari running on the screen at the same time. The floating window can be hidden to the side or moved to the other part of the screen. And in order to close it or to get rid of it in the multitasking panel on the side, completely away from all other apps, there is the Safari instance that can also be swiped up and this will close it for good. If you're not that good with the gestures and shortcuts or simply want to avoid them, then there's also a solution. Whenever you are in Safari or any other app pretty much, there are three dots on the screen right there in the middle. And clicking on it gives you some options. It's actually the same thing that we already discussed but just used differently. So there are three icons, the full screen, split screen, and a floating window. There is one that is selected, you can see right there with like a background to it. And for me, it's the full window in this example. And you can transform this window to be something else like split screen. So if you click on it and then click on a Safari, you have essentially two Safari windows at the same time, but without any gestures. You can now choose something else for those windows like to make it full screen again or transform it into a floating one, depending on what you want to do with it. Unfortunately, you cannot remove or disable this function of the three dots. It's just always there. Like sometimes in other apps, it may be kind of annoying or stand in the way or something, but there is no way to remove it. It will always be there. But also clicking on the three dots, when you are in Safari, shows you all of the open windows. It shows up at the bottom of the page. So you can see them there, and there is also a plus icon, which allows you to create new ones. You can, in fact, create as many as you want. But keep in mind that when you make a new one, they all behave like an open app as a separate app, which like works on its own. You can see it in the multitasking panel when you get there that all of the recent things are just multiple windows of Safari, which is kind of unusual look, but this is just how it works. And the way to close them is, again, like a regular app, so you swipe up on them in the multitasking panel. And this is just how it works. It's very simple to do. And this is all there is to know about using multiple windows and instances of Safari. I really do hope that the video helped you out and that you found that the answer what you are looking for if you have some other questions, make sure to check out other videos in this series or even subscribe to this channel so you don't miss future uploads and videos like these. 
thanks a lot for watching and we can see each other in the future of course i'd appreciate if you hit the thumbs up i'm saying this as a last thing in the video so i just don't drag it out or or something i mean anyways thanks a lot for watching and see you guys later